It's on again. It's electricity, power management, and more. Today, I'm going to go over a subject that I've uh, I've done a video about before, but I keep on having or receiving calls from uh, my fellow electricians on how to go about it. I don't know if the video wasn't clear or i don't i don't really know so i'll go over it again this is an unload changeover switch so an unload changeover switch is specifically for it's 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 aids in changing uh between or changing uh in between different or power sources okay so you can change between electricity and uh and uh let's say a generator or let's say uh, some other sorts, let's say uh, inverter, um, solar, etc. So it's it's actually helps in uh, solving the issue that is being able to change between different power outlets or sources. Okay, okay. So this is very simple. This is a Havel's unload changeover switch and it's it's very simple the idea is very simple so this there's a compartment up here and there's another compartment look beneath there uh -huh. Uh -huh. beneath there there is a compartment and there is a compartment right in front of you so let me teach you or let me go over it this side and the one beneath those are the one that you will use as supply. Supply means where the source of power is coming from. So, for example, for this one, ECG or the national grid, the national grid, the main uh, electricity or the national grid is connected on this one. So you can see there is power in here. This tester is testing. Uh -huh. So the three-phase connection is here. Then this the live one, live two, live three, and your and your uh your neutral here. Okay. So in this in this scenario here, this this down here, this beneath uh uh connection point will be used for the generator or some other power source okay and here always know always note that this side up here the one that is in front of you right in front of you here is the one that is load meaning this is the one that will send uh supply or send uh, power to the various distribution boards that you have so this one, unless you've changed it to any of the power sources, this one will not receive any supply. I think this is clear now. This is clear now because I've been receiving a bunch of calls on this particular subject. So I thought it's as wise to go over it again. And that's it. Okay, so here... The ECG was connected here, but you you may you may choose to connect it. You may choose to connect the uh, the generator uh, generator supply here, and you may choose to connect the electricity or the main uh, electricity supply down here, and there's the load. So always bear in mind that supply supply up here, supply beneath. And here is the load. Okay, so this is how it looks like. So you see there's this one here. This There's this two here. So you see this supply. Supply here is off. So it's off here. When you turn, you want to turn it this way. It goes to... Uh, one of the sources that you've connected to it's off or in the neutral position and when you turn it here to you connect it to uh, a different power source okay